Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is another video on interview questions and answer series on RTL design. And in this video, we are going to discuss some most commonly asked interview questions on edge detectors. Now without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, the very first question is on your screen where you have to write a while log code of an edge detector. The behavior of an edge detector is whenever input i changes from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0, this detect pulse should go high for one clock cycle, otherwise it should remain 0. Those who comes to know its answer, please write it down in the comment section, otherwise I am going to reveal its answer. Friends, before writing the very log code of an edge detector, Firstly, we should know its logic diagram. This will be the logic diagram of an edge detector. I already explained in one of my previous videos that how we can drive the logic circuit diagram of an edge detector. I will give its link in the description section as well as in the IBAR section. You can go through it. But in this video, I am not going to dig deep into this logic uh, diagram. We will simply write its very log code. Friends, this will be the very log code of an edge detector. Module name is edge detector. It has two inputs, i and clock, one output detect. Here I am going to declare a reg variable q, which will be output of a flip-flop as shown in a figure. So how to implement a flip-flop? Always at the rate passage of the clock, q will be equal to i. So this will be the implementation of a flip-flop. And then to implement a combination logic, I am using a assign statement, assign detect equal to q xor with i. So that is the final implementation of an edge detector. Now let us move towards your next question. And your next question is, you have to write the very log code of a positive edge detector. And the behavior of the positive edge detector is, whenever i varies from 0 to 1, then detect pulse should go high for one clock cycle, otherwise it should remain 0. Even if there is a negative edge on this input i, that is, when i varies from 1 to 0, this detect pulse should not vary, it should remain 0. It should only vary whenever there is a positive edge. Now let me show you the very log code for this. Friends, before knowing the very log code of a positive edge detector logic, firstly we should understand the logic circuit diagram for the positive edge detector. So this is a logic circuit diagram of a positive edge detector. And I already explained it in depth in one of my previous video. I will share its link in the description section as well as in the IBAR section. You can go through it. But here we will only discuss the very log code. But just have an eye that here we have one flip-flop, output of flip-flop is going to NOT gate and then finally apply to AND gate, I is directly applied to AND gate and we get the detect signal. This is a very log code of a positive edge detector, module name is positive edge detector, it has two inputs I and clock, one output detect. Again here I have declared a register variable Q and this is the way how we implement a flip-flop as already explained in my previous uh, section. Then detect, detect will be equal to not of Q and with input I. So this is how we implement positive edge detector. Now let us move towards your next question. This is the last question of this video where you have to write a very log code of negative edge detector logic. The behavior of negative edge detector is whenever I varies from one to zero, that is called negative edge. This detect pulse should go high for one clock cycle, otherwise it should remain zero. Even if there is a positive edge on this input i, this detect should remain zero only. Now let me show you its logic circuit diagram and then I will show you its very log code. So this is our negative edge detector logic. Again we have one flip flop. But here at the input i, I am putting a NOT gate and then applied it to AND gate. Q1 is directly applied to this AND gate. And if you want to know the details of this logic circuit diagram, I have created a separate video. You will get its link in the description section as well as in the IBAR section. You can go through it. Now let me show you its very log code. Friends, the very log code of a negative edge detector is very, very simple. It has two inputs, I and clock, one output detect. Again, declaring a reg variable q because I want to implement a d flip flop to delay input i by one clock cycle and output of that flip flop will be q. 
Again, to get the detect signal, I need a combination logic and combination logic will be Q and with not of I. And this will be my final implementation of a negative edge detector. Friends, with this, I am going to end this video and I hope that this will be quite informative for all of you. And in future, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.